And overall, uh, how effective is vitamin D supplementation? Is, is there um, a reasonable body of, of scientific evidence that says yeah. that actually if you take uh, vitamin D supplements or you uh, eat your way to a normal vitamin D level, uh, that that is going to be beneficial? So we know that taking 800 to 1,000 daily for three months, most people will be, their levels will come up to a range that you need for great muscle and bone function. Now, like many things in medicine, more is not better. Greater than 4,000 a day can be associated with high levels of cal um, calcium in your blood, can be cause kidney stones, and there's some signals that it may be linked to cancer. So like many things, just because you can buy it at the health food store doesn't necessarily make it safe. You have to really consult. And your pharmacist is actually a great resource um, if you have questions around vitamins. So this is this is one of the vitamins because some with some vitamins, if you take too much of it, your body just doesn't absorb it. It sounds like with vitamin D, there's a window that you want to be in uh, a range, like a healthy range to supplement your vitamin D. But if you go above it, you may run into side effects. It's not just that it wouldn't get absorbed. You could you could have some problems with vitamin D excess. Yes. And like so many things, our bodies with dietary sources gets rid of it. So if you take too much calcium from your diet, most people will get rid of it. But if you take too much, say, calcium through supplements, um, your body may not necessarily get rid of it. Same with vitamin A. And vitamin D, yeah. So, vitamin D. But really, it's I think it's the same with uh, those all of those, what we call the fat-soluble vitamins, isn't it? Um, That's right. So, yeah. so you, you should be cautious with supplementing uh, vitamin A, D, E and K uh, that you don't take too much.